Hello everybody, my name is Kevin War, and welcome back for another video of Total War 3 Kingdoms. Now I hope this time around it's gonna work. Last time I tried to do a video on it, um, my voice basically got doubled or whatever. It did the fucking problem I always have with the PC or something. I don't know why. I've got always pro a problem with the Elgato. I can't record a game on PC without having my voice double out or something like that or having having an echo basically or a, a noise a white noise behind it i hate it so much i don't know why it does that every time um hopefully this time around it'll be fine uh, if it's not it's not but uh we're gonna go start record i want to do um a, a video here um about the new dlc that came out of the game we're gonna start right here eight princes so there's a new DLC that came out. Um, I'm gonna read it to you really quick, guys. A generation since the Three Kings and Spears has ended, and the Jin Dynasty stands on the brink of chaos. As one of the eight warring princes, carve your way through your enemies, defending the emperor against dark treason, or depose him and stabilize the dynasty under your rule. This is a pretty cool um, a DLC right here. I've got a production mod as well. I've got equipped. Uh, now so we can really use those mods to perfection and really have a, a lot of fun I'm gonna start with this character right here. This is what I tried to do last time. I'm gonna use this character Sima I There is a head to every family but does this give them the right to lead? Should a good leader seek peace? Or opportunity? They order us into battle? Or do we follow them? Do they serve the people? Or themselves? The answer is simple. They do what must be done. All right, guys, we're in the map. We started it off. Let's go. Uh, of course, the Jin Dynasty is in Tormal and everything. We're trying right now. I'm gonna just skip that really quick. There we go. This is our battle. This is our. So I've already did this before um, on video. That's what I was trying to say in the intro right here. So I know what I'm do I'm doing. We've got uh, four camps in total. This is the town in itself. This is the on entire region. We gotta capture this last place to get the the remaining of the region itself. I'm going to activate the uh, mods really quick, guys. Hold on. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe that goes all the way there. So we've got all sorts of mods activated. We've got everything basically. We're basically going to be OP here. So we've got all the mods possible activated. I'm going to equip to my soldier I'm going to do the same thing I did before on video last time I'm going to equip 
the horse the best things possible for my main guy which I don't have uh, as much as I had uh, previously but oh well um, I really want to take yeah so this one this one guy he's gonna have a cavalry unit like this these uh, cavalry units are really good um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some catapults here two catapults so we got uh, two air units we need two more air units because we already have two melee so one two that's four four uh, we need melee now so this guy I think he's purple so his main thing is melee we're gonna take the best one possible which is this one so melee and another one like this there we go and also we're gonna need uh, I guess more cavalry right or maybe no you know what more uh, melee and stuff or a catapult, a third catapult or something could be good. Not sure, guys. Two catapults in itself, I think it seems fine. I think I'm just gonna take a uh, saber militia or this one. Which one is better? Looks like the saber militia is better. So, saber militia, we're gonna take some arrow man, another saber militia right here. All right, let's go. Our army is gonna be complete in a couple of turns here. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade our town. All right, for a better town and everything, uh, assign this girl with this woman right here. We're gonna do use on on reform. I'm gonna show you guys the, the court. So I'm gonna put her in as advisor. She's the wife of our prince. Uh, basically, the way it works, if we've got multiple princes, I'm gonna show you again the family tree. This was the dad, right? The empire, the emperor, former emperor. Um, this is our wife. These are our two brothers. They are both are princes. Uh, we are working with the empress right now. She's giving us orders to destroy people and stuff, and we're doing it basically. Um, we've got this, which I don't. We we need a new reform. Okay. Last time I went for satisf character salary, so I'm going to go for the same thing again. There's the character salary. It takes no turn. So it's basically a one turn so thing for the, uh, the all this the, uh, stuff, which is really good. Really and yeah, I guess yeah, we're doing We're going to do good, yeah, guys. The food is good. Our uh, resources are good. Let's skip the turn. Skip the our turn. first uh, objective, our of first course, is to destroy that army. And then we're going to march on to this place. And we're in the next turn. There's a coalition that's been made with uh, the Jin Empire and Sima Lun. I want to try to be friends with the Jin Empire, actually, me maybe. Uh, toast rituals, so faction developments, that's interesting. We've got a new mission, we got to research a reform, which we already did that. Uh, we got to research a new one, I guess, uh, which is going to be done pretty quick. So construction cost is going to uh, cost way less, so we're going to do that first. Uh, we still got some stuff that we can build here, which we are going to do. We're going to upgrade the town, or maybe we should get these things in first so we got one of these which is for noble support um, I'm gonna look for something for the I guess the people to the, to stay happy and stuff or do we need a workshop what's that it's a renowned armor oh we, we already have that huh okay well in that case we probably need we need a red one and we need um, this so we need these two right here we need uh, also one of these hold on reserves let's just get a hint in there there we go get this reconstruction done uh, we're building uh, everybody's built off and they just need to heal up a little bit more we're gonna let them do that uh, we're not gain we're gaining less money now we're losing money per turn which I have an idea for that as well guys uh, we've got this guy right here which he likes us a lot, he right? Lot, we've right? we got a negotiation Excellent. thing Talk. where we can basically get whatever we want. Whatever We're going to get a trade want. agreement get out of him. Out there of we him. go. So trade Excellent. agreement is going to give us some stuff. And also all these guys right here, the Jin Empire, I do not want to be at war with them uh, right now. I'm not interested. I kind of want to be uh, their allies, to be honest. So what I'm going to do, non-aggression pact between the two of us. Right, I don't want to be at war with the Jin Empire. I want to help the Jin Empire out, actually. So 
Let's try to be friends here. Let's try to be friends. Um, offer food, military access, request to join coalition. Um, I'm not going to join the coalition just yet. Uh, I might be tempted though to do military access. There we go. Give them military access for both of us so we can go into their territory. They can go into ours uh, back and forth. All right. I don't want to be at war with the Gen Empire. I want to be friends with them. I want to, you know, get it, get it simple. Now, I am going to request a payment out of them, though. All right. So, uh, no, actually, we don't request payment because otherwise that's going to be cheap. But we are going to request some food, though. Uh, give us a little bit of food, uh, actually. Food, actually. How much do you... Can you give me? Can you give me? You can give me a lot of food, actually. Of food, Is that really re uh, regular food income? Regular food so they're going to give me 81 food per 81 turn. Food That's a lot. All right, good. All right, good. We won't have any more problems of food, guys. We're going to get 81 food per turn. Uh, they're going to give us food and everything. We, In order to get vassals, I want to annex people as well. First of all, we're going to go to the next turn. What I'm going to try to do in this series is I'm going to try to annex uh, the people around me instead of fighting them directly. So I'm going to build off my army. Yes, uh, if someone declares war to me, I am going to fight them, but I'm not going to push it. You know, I'm not going to uh, be the aggressor here since I'm going to be pretty much OP and everything. Coalition. For everyone, consider the deal. So we're declared upon this guy right here. Uh, so these guys requested to, they did a uh, war or something like that. Faction succession. All right, someone died. Gen Empire, bunch of stuff going on. There we go. We got a non-aggression pact with the Gen Empire. Remember that. If the Gen Empire declares war, uh, war to us, that's going to be bad for them. Mission successful. There we go. Work far or workforce. That's good. We got a new mission, which is basically getting Grand Prince uh, rank. Uh, finest armor. Good. So we got a. Our new mission is basically get uh, getting Grand Prince, and uh, that's what we need in order to do an annex or vassalize people and annex them. So we're gonna need to get there. Um, we got some new stuff. No new accessories actually. We don't have any more new horses or anything. Uh, we don't have any armor per se. No, I think we're good. Let's keep them the way they are. Our army is not totally uh, done, so we're going to wait it up a little bit. Um, our wife, though, is uh, has a point. She leveled up, so uh, she, I think she needs authority right now, so we're going to give her some authority. She's working as the... Uh, He's working as the, as the governor, basically, of this uh, region right here. Yes, we I know we want to take this area, but we're going to take our time. They won't they won't attack us anyways. They seem pretty... Uh, see, G the Jin Empire is pretty happy with us. They're really happy with us, actually. Uh, this guy... This is the guy... We're, we have a non-aggression pact with these. With these guys. Okay. Good. In that case, we can probably make a trade agreement or something. Okay, yeah. I can only make trade agreements or something. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, never mind. Uh, anybody? I don't have anybody that's my vassal. There's non aggression pack with these guys as well. Okay. Cool. And what about? Okay. So the only people that don't like me right now. Okay. I'm gonna look really quick. Oh, actually, the the one guy that hates me the most is uh, where is he at? This guy. This guy? Let me see real quick. These guys right here don't like me that much, like so they much. might declare a war they to me. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's keep an eye on them, guys. Let's keep an eye on them. This reform's done. Satisfaction. Trade influence. Trade, influence. Uh, trade agreements. Uh, we need trade, trade agreements, so we're gonna get that one. We're gonna get one more trade agreement in the next turn. In the next turn as well, my army is gonna be completely full, so it's gonna be built up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be built up to the max. We're going to be finally have our first uh, attack or something. It's going to be pretty great, guys. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. I'm really excited to uh, have our first battle here. Bucci. I don't know who that guy is. 
that guy is. He won't mess with me. So the bus has stuff like this all the time. Uh, coalitions forming up all the time and everything. Let's go. As long as nobody declares war to us, we should be all right. The Empress demands that radios be crushed. So basically she wants us to take care of our opposition and everything. Um, we are going to crush the opposition. So conquer. So Yulin Spice Market. So we got to take that. Capture and occupy the following. So we got to go all the way there. We got to move out to this direction. Well, you know what? We don't need to do it by force, but I don't know how long it's going to take us to get to Grand Prince or anything. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Mission issued. All right. What about my army here? It's still not fully healed. That's uh, kind of a shame, really, because we're waiting for it to be uh, fully healed or something. Uh, let's see if I can't pick up something green or, or yellow. Reserve capacity. Um, population growth, um, population reformation, reformation uh, plus food production and everything. Production. I'm going to do that. Uh, or actually, that, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that one. A little that. farm there could be pretty good. I'm really excited. I think we can start the battle, guys. To be honest, I think we're at a point where we don't need to wait anymore uh, any longer. Uh, did yeah, they did get a wife each, my brothers and everything good we're all age 19 almost or something like that we're pretty young so let's go let's start our first fight here see how it goes actually i think this is a thing there we go i don't want to have weak enemies or anything because i think that's the problem right here all right let's go let's go in let's attack these guys all right good yes so they've got nine enemies, right? They've got nine enemies, they've got nine enemies only. Their army is so weak and everything. Uh, they can't do anything uh, against us. So we're just going to delegate this first battle. There's no point in fighting nine soldiers, guys. It would be ridiculous to do that against my entire army right here. Um, so we're going to recruit just to replenish our army and everything. That mission is done. Uh, we didn't get any more mission, any new mission. That's cool. That's good. That's good. Show your strength. Okay. And we, I think we can move out to this, uh, yeah, this little air region right here. So that's good. We're going to take it out. They don't have anybody in there. So let's just take out this place easily. And we're going to have the entire region now. Really good. We are going to continue to do whatever we are doing. We're going to occupy. And um, yeah, I guess we're good. So we are occupying this place. It's pretty good. It's doing great. So we're good, guys. We're not going to move out. We're going to keep my army in there for now. So we got the entire place secured, guys. The entire place secured. Um, we don't have any place for a chancellor or anything, but the, we got the entire region. Now that's really good. We can f start like focusing on our new region. The, which region do you do we want to have? Um, let me see which thing I I want income from looting settlements. I'm going to do that. Uh, even though I don't loot the settlements, but that's okay. We're getting a lot of gold per turn, which is good. And actually, uh, we did get a new trade agreements thing, which means that I do want to um, I don't want to um, trade with these guys. Uh, am I already trading with these guys? I think I probably am. I want to see really quick uh, who am I trading with. Uh, the Jin Empire is only all the way over there, so I can't really make anything with them. Uh, what about these guys right here? Do they like me? I don't know if they... they well, they're okay, I guess. They're on the offense. We're actually at war with them. What? Oh, we're at war with them. Never mind both the okay i'm gonna wait a little bit then because probably most of them don't have a free trade route i'm the only one that has it so we're gonna wait up before moving on i think we're at war with these guys yeah so we can march on to their cities uh lingren in order to get lingren or whatever we gotta take out this place as well which i think if it's a uh, gray i think it means it uh, only means that uh, nobody has it so we can march on here and basically have um, free stuff, free real estates. 
that's what we're probably going to do first. We're going to march on here, get the free real estates, and then march on to their city. I don't, not, I'm not scared about them. I can defend myself. Let's go. So I just saw in the uh, the screen and everything. There's a coalition became a military alliance. We got the allies or something, guys. That's crazy. All right, then let's skip all that. All right. So the Empress demands supplies. Uh, people are starving, so says the Empress. At least, who comes to your requesting a moderate, but no insignificant amount of food to mitigate the citizens' plight? How do you respond? Well, that's funny because the Empress is basically the Jin Empire, and I'm asking the Jin Empire to give me 81 uh, food per turn. So they're giving me 80. The, the Empire itself is giving me 81 food. She wants that food back, basically. Um, contribute what was asked. So in favor, she basically were medium food. We're giving them uh, food, two food per turn, which is not too much, you know. Uh, pay for supplies. I could pay for them. Yeah, I could pay for their supplies, I guess. I don't need to uh, alignment, refuse. Let's just pay for them. You, go, you cannot spare or do not want to spare what food you have, but instead offer monetary recompenses. I've got many, I've got enough money so I can basically buy you anything you want. So, there we go. Alright, let's march on guys. Let's start marching on to this location here. There we go. Let's start marching on and we're gonna take this place up. Establish order. Establish order guys, let's go. This place go. is going to be ours. Now I have infinite movement, but what I'm going to do in order to prevent cheating and everything as well, which each army, uh, every army is going to be able to uh, only get one, uh, we're going to be able to take uh, over only one territory or one place at a time, you know? Otherwise it's going to be cheating. So I'm, yes, I'm using big time cheats, but I, I want to prevent myself from cheating too much as well, you know? All right, so we got all this. I'm kind of I want that because I want uh, the next the next thing, uh, uh, soldier wise. Recover enemy spies, redeployment costs, recruitment costs, uh, military supplies. I'm gonna do the recruitment cost and everything. That should be good. We got new auxiliary, so a new horse. That's good. Let me just see really quick. Who should we take on? Probably give it to our our guy here. There we go. Definitely give it to our guy. It's gonna be faster. It's gonna be better. Everything's gonna be good. We're moving on. Really, we're doing a grade. Uh, I should probably promote her. I really want to do promote her. There we go. Just so. I mean, she's my wife, so she needs to be the one the most promoted. You know, we need to promote her all the way. Let's go. So promoting her all the way. Um, request the A. Way. Nope, we're good. So where? What is she exactly right now? Title rank? She's a general in chief. Okay. My factory heir is only two years old, so we don't need anything. I'm not gonna upgrade my generals or anything. I don't trust them enough uh, for that. I don't think I'm gonna need another army, guys. I think my army in itself here, unless I see an army popping up from these guys. I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm not gonna start uh, like uh, freaking out like crazy. So let's just move on, really. We got. Uh, we're starting to move on to new lo new locations and everything. We're gonna take out these two places, the the actual town. Uh, well, one of the uh, that's Luliang. Oh, that's another place. I guess that's another region. We're gonna worry about the other regions for uh, next time. I really want to take care of one region at a time. So we're gonna move out to the lumber yard we got a tool maker here which uh the tool maker is pretty good yeah it's gonna give us a bunch of new stuff let's go just gonna get rid of all these things a new military alliance for this basically family of soldiers okay we got uh, new stuff we can build everywhere off obviously we're gonna continue to build this thing right here there we go we're gonna move out to this location right here let's go Establish order right here. This is all ours. We're moving up pretty nicely. Our empire is growing nicely, guys. Uh, as you can see. So that's really good. 
Um, I, I can't upgrade that because it's part of the same thing. That's good. The next up, we're moving on to... Oh, these guys have a lot of places, actually. Uh, anywhere else where this might be? Oh, these guys, which we're not at war with them. Okay. I see. Um, I'm going to try to take out this, uh, this region first. Let's see. We got to upgrade this thing right here, our region here. So what is that going to do? Give us more stuff. Give us more stuff. Give us more military options and stuff. What about that? Um, I'm going to get, I guess, the cover, uncover stuff. There we go. Uncover spies and everything. Diplomacy wise, let's just check that out. Let's uh, see how it goes. How it's going for us. The Jin Empire, right? That's the Jin Empire. They're right here. How about we do something really great together? How about we do a trade agreement? We can actually do that. Yes, let's do a trade agreement together. Here we go. The trade agreement. What else can we do together? Let me just see real quick. Trade accelerators. I kind of want to. I don't really, I don't want to be in a faction. I really don't want to be in a faction right now. So we're going to keep it the way it is. We've got our, uh, both our stuff. We're winning, winning a lot of food from the Gen Empire and a lot of money, I guess. They're giving us a lot. I might be tempted eventually once uh, I've got to start splitting out and everything. Because I kind of want to get all this. You know, this is all free real estate right here. So... What I might end up doing is this forces right here, these forces, they're going to take out the enemies on the south while I've got another force I'm going to build, uh, say in our town or something, I'm going to build another force and I'm going to just invade and take everything here, everything that's free basically for us, it's free uh, money. Can I raise an army? I could probably, yeah, just raise an army here in the tool making place. Um, do I have um, people though I that I don't uh, need to basically? I ha do I have free people? These two, I'm using I these two. These I'm two using I'm myself. Using I can't use my wife because she's already been used as a governor. So I'm, I would need to purchase new go uh, governors and stuff like that. Okay. I don't really want to do that. This guy's gonna be have a strong army if I do that though. No, I'm gonna wait on that because I don't, I don't want to uh, spend or t time or money on people, uh, on new soldiers or generals for no reason. You know, I want to wait for my own family to get stuff done or things like that. You can see the large river here, the yellow river they call it, splitting up the entire nation here. All right. Here we go. Right. Let's see what happens here. here New stuff. Military happens. alliance across the boards, like Military always. Continue to build off their stuff, I guess, here. There we go. And here. So now, next up, here. this is going to give you more things. More what about things. that? That's going to give you more food, but that? I want to upgrade our town here. I want to upgrade it. So let's just start moving now. Let's start moving. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Let's start moving, guys. All right. So decisive victory, it says. Uh, we're up against 900 people, almost a thousand soldiers. We've got 2,000. Uh, we're gonna demand a surrender here. They will not give up the settle uh, settlement. Uh, we're definitely gonna win this fight. Low casualties. I don't want to do any fights in this video because we're already uh, pretty long of a video. Um, so we're going to do fights for the next video for sure. Let's just delegate this battle right here. Take out this uh, town. We lost 200 people. They lost all of them. So minor, uh, minor casualties and everything. We're just going to go ahead and occupy this place. There you go. We killed their, uh, their king as well or their emperor or whatever. During construction efforts in Newtown, a section of bamboo sca scaffolding collapses in a horrific incident that crushes many of your men, leaving some dead and many injured. Apart from the lost manpower, the remaining workers are also demoralized, drastically slowing the colonization process. Pay for the doctors? I'm going to pay. There we go. I'm going to pay. 
No problem, I can pay uh, for whatever you need. Right, so we got this place. We're starting off. We need one more. This place right here, we're going to have the, a second region in itself. Uh, this guy leveled up, or faction heir, or our faction uh, leader, I guess. He leveled up, so that's good. I'm going to give him that. Good. Next up, what does he need the most right now? I think a lot of resolve actually I can be put up, but I'm going to give him authority as well. So a lot of authority here. There we go. Doing great. I think we're good. Um, next up, new reform. We gotta, we're going to take this one, I guess. All right. And uh, anything else? Occupation, we're good. That's the enemy's capital, obviously. It's a large town, so we officially have two two cities or two towns in itself. That's a large town, that's a small city. So that's that's already bigger than this, um, but it's gonna grow even bigger even. So let's see how it goes. Uh, what am I right now? How far am I to Grand Prince? That's what I'm uh, wondering right here. Records. So you can see how far we've moved on already. So we went all the way to uh, in like what two uh, one year in a one year situation. We went from this to uh, this. So we move. We got all of this right here. We had this right here. We all, uh, got all of this easily in one year, guys, in the span of year, one year, which is like uh, crazy. We're expanding really fast. Uh, really good just want to make sure everybody happy with me nobody's gonna declare war on me or something stupid like that the Jin Empire is doing pretty good actually Jin Empire is really pushing forward which is good uh, might be tempted to go with the Jin Empire eventually if they're um, if they start winning stuff which is really good for us all right I'm gonna leave it here for now, guys. I think this is a good way to place a good place to stop it, really. Let me see. Uh, still, still two years of age. I don't know if I'm gonna build. I might do it. Build a new army, and this side, and take out, and ta use that army to get this free real estate here before anybody else does. Because this is basic, yeah, it's free money. Like, look at these three places here. Look, imagine if I can just expand right here. That's easy. That's easy money for me. Easy uh, expansion. So that's pretty good. We're at war with these two guys. I think this is only, uh, this is one guy and this is another guy completely that I got to defeat here. Uh, Lee Midi. Actually, we're at war with three different enemies. Oh, we are. Yeah, so there are three different oh, enemies. We are yeah, so we're with all of them. Uh, Limity, I'm going to take him out in the next video easily and ta probably take out this guy as well. Not sure about this. Uh, this if we're going to go all the way there, but we'll see how it goes, guys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.